hello hello good morning i just made coffee and i'm really trying really hard not to spill it but just made myself a cute little latte i made this mug at color me mine and i'm kind of obsessed with it i told you i was having a pink moment and i meant that pink literally everywhere but anyway, sorry, didn't even introduce myself. Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Gabby. I'm a New York City-based life and style content creator. And yeah, today is going to be probably one of my favorite days, <laughs> which is gonna be a solo day in New York City. Um, I feel like one of my goals this year was to just get out and explore the city more. So we'll see what we get up to today. I'm kind of just um, having a slower morning. I got up and made coffee. I also scheduled today's video, today's Sunday. I am doing pretty well on my goal of uploading every Sunday to YouTube, so that's exciting. Um, and I know a lot of you uh, DM me or left comments that were like, I'm so excited that you wanna post every Sunday. I love your videos. And honestly, even that just like small little note, that small little DM is like what keeps me going because these videos can be a lot of work and Although I love editing and I love just kind of the production of it, um, when it feels like no one's watching them, it's kind of hard to want to keep doing them. So thank you for your DMs. They really are helpful. But yeah, schedule the video for today. That's all ready to go. Um, that way I don't really have to be worried about posting it and I can just kind of go about my day, which is nice. And that's of my Miami trip. So that was a great trip. Um, the weather was fantastic. It was kind of super sad coming back to New York to like the cold. Uh, but I mean, I think I'm just a big fan of like a warm weather trip in the winter. I think winter here can be super brutal. So any respite from that is super nice. But yeah, I'm excited. Today we're doing a solo Sunday, which is like one of my favorite days to just do in the city. I feel like there's so much to see and i've done a really bad job honestly of taking advantage of living in new york at the past couple of years really i think post covid it was just like i want to stay in my home and not get sick i don't know i feel like i was doing more like nights out like more dinners more like going to bars that kind of thing and i just i like seeing the city in the daytime um, and doing stuff during the day so i want to get back to that i'm super excited for this video i think it'll be a fun one i have like loose plans today but definitely some things like scheduled so i want to go to a breakfast spot and then i have tickets to go to the brooklyn museum to see the spike lee exhibit so we're going to start there and then see what we get up to i also need to meal prep a little bit tonight so we've got things i'm doing like all of my favorite things today which is exciting so if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button i again am trying to post every sunday of the year so doing a pretty good job so far we'll see how it goes and um follow me on social i post to all the things instagram tiktok threads and give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying the videos uh i hope you are i think they've been fun so far i have about 30 minutes to put on a quick little outfit it's cold so i feel like i'm prioritizing comfort over style but I do want to do my makeup. So let's go ahead and get the day started. Cheers. Happy Sunday. I got three different shades of the Fenty concealers. 370 in, 400 in, and 410 warm. These two are... Eh. Similar. I feel like this is going to be good for under eye. I'm going to try this. It's my first time using it, so I'm not really sure how it's going to go. Heard good things about it collectively, so we're going to see. Um, but I did a little bit of the You to the People Air Whip Moisturizer. Obviously, I've run out of this and I need to repurchase it. It is amazing. I love it. One of my favorite um, moisturizers, especially if I'm going to wear makeup. And then I haven't used this in a while, but I used the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Today, because I'm going to definitely be wearing a scarf, I'm not going to do too much like complexion makeup, but I am going to try this concealer. Under eye, not a ton. Just... Just a little bit. And I do like the brush. It's like, uh, ah, there we go. It's got like a little bit of an angle to it. I don't know if you can see, but um, it fits like right into that under eye groove really nicely. 
Um, so yeah, I let that dry down a little bit. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I've been like rotating through a lot of different eyebrow products. I think I'm gonna use my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. OG, 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 OG. Finally bought the full sized. Um, I love it. Just like this, if I just want my, na like, if I just want my brows to look pretty natural, but I want them to like stay sat, I use this. <laughs> Those are the brows, super easy. I think the last thing that's new in my routine is this concealer brush. Um, it is the Sephora collection, uh, Sephora Pro brush, I think. It's the Pro Concealer 71, so I like it. Yeah, if you want more makeup content, let me know, like just like within vlogs. Um, I feel like I just kind of vibe. All right, this is the finished makeup look, going super warm. I feel like the under eye concealer looks pretty good. So, cute, let's go. I have reworn this outfit so many times, but we just got a white tee from H&M, my red Cezanne cardigan, my Abercrombie like straight leg jeans. Then again, I'm going super cozy. So we're going with the Uggs. So that is the fit for the day, finished my makeup. Let's get going. It is super cold, but I just put my name down for Little Egg and I'm headed over to Unnameable Books, which is like a secondhand bookstore. We're gonna check that out and see if I find anything, but yeah. It's super windy, I don't know if you can hear me, but I am headed back to the Upper East Side. Had a wonderful day in Brooklyn. It's cold. Hello, hello. It is now much later. It's like 6 p.m. and I'm gonna start making dinner. Um, I am thinking chicken and I'm thinking Brussels sprouts, brown rice. No, I'm thinking about I. Ugh. I'm thinking of balsamic vinaigrette again, and and some salad. What do I? What do I usually put on these? Why am I like struggling? Do I want chickpeas? I don't. I don't genuinely know. Um, but we've got brown basmati rice, 
my camera is dying, so let's switch. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we are going to be cooking dinner. I've got some brown basmati rice that we're gonna make. Um, I'm gonna cook up some chicken breast. I'm gonna make some Brussels sprouts. And I need to make a balsamic vinaigrette, which is easy. I just need a little bit of garlic. I think I just wanna do rice, Brussels sprouts, chicken, salad. I'm gonna do a little bit of cranberries and almonds. So let's do that. I like a simple meal and it won't take me that long. Let's start with the rice and then uh, I'll do the Brussels sprouts. So actually, hot tip. Um, I can never get like good Brussels sprouts at home. Like they just never tasted like, you know when you get them at the restaurant and they're like super delicious. Um, hot tip, I Googled and I Pinterested and I figured out that if you put your baking pan with the aluminum foil and everything, in the oven and let it heat up as you preheat pre the oven and then put the brussels sprouts directly on the heated pan they are absolute perfection i don't know why couldn't tell you i feel like i'm giving restaurants a run for their money because they taste so good so yeah got aluminum foil going to set the oven to 425 and that should be good yes. So we've got Brussels, I'm gonna wash them. Also another pro tip is you don't want them to have any water, just oil. That also was a key tip that someone shared. Um, so I just pat dry them with paper towel. A magazine. We'll, we'll be right back. About all of us. I can. Back. It doesn't sound that interesting, but if you. So on Sundays, I feel like my evening routine is like four hours long. I love to meal prep slash make a home cooked dinner for myself. And I like to light candles. I do like my full skincare, body care routine on Sundays. These are some of the products that I've been loving. But yeah, then I shower, I read book, journal, hop into bed and really just relax. I did this patchology face mask that was divine um and then i went to sleep but yeah that's the end of the video if you enjoyed give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos yeah happy sunday i'll see you next week bye